Hi, I'm Pete. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to revisit the Bosch RA1181 router table. We installed this a few weeks ago and unfortunately I'm already having some problems with it. So today we're going to tear it apart, see if we can figure out what the problem is and see if we can fix it. Thanks for stopping by. Please hit like, please subscribe and we'll get started right now. A few weeks back, I did a review on the Bosch RA1181 router table. There's a link to that video in the description below. A couple of things I really like about this router table are the ability to adjust the height of the bit from on top of the table and also its dust collection. What I didn't like was the finicky fence and also the fact that the table wasn't perfectly flat out of the box. Using the table for a few weeks now, I've run into a new problem. I can no longer adjust the bit height from above the table. Somehow this adjustment mechanism is not working anymore. Let's go ahead and remove the router and see what's causing this problem with the lift mechanism. So I think I found the problem. I think what's happening here is just this retaining clip or slip ring here that mounts on this um, adjusting shaft. For some reason, that doesn't stay, want to stay in place. And maybe, uh, maybe I forced it a little too hard and it's, it slipped out. But I was able to pull it down in place. And now it appears that the, the lifting mechanism is working as advertised. However, it's really not on there very, very tightly. I tried using some needle nose pliers to tighten it, but that doesn't seem to have much of an effect. And there's really not much of a, um, a slot cut in the shaft over here for this retaining clip to stay in place. So I'm not sure how long it's gonna last or how well it's gonna to continue to work. So I think we're gonna to have to find another solution to make this um, lifting mechanism work on this router table. So uh, I'll have an update for you folks once I find a solution and I'll post an updated video at that time. But as of right now, not very happy with this um, engineering with this very flimsy retaining clip um, holding this rod in place. Anyway, thanks for stopping in, thanks for viewing, and um, please subscribe and look for my follow-up video with a new solution if I find one. Thank you. Hi, we're back. So over the weekend, I did some research on this retaining clip on this mounting base, which works with this rod for the lifting mechanism on this Bosch router. And I found out that this retaining clip is problematic and other people have had the same issue with it, where it pops out and you no longer can actuate the lifting mechanism. So I also found a solution for it. And let's go ahead and try and install that right now and see how well it works. So the solution that I found online was to use some drill bit stop collars and put a stop collar in place of the retaining clip and that'll hold this actuating rod for the lifting mechanism in place. So I went online over the weekend and went on Amazon and found this, this kit of stop collars. I think it was $8 total with tax. Just got them delivered uh, this morning. So let's go ahead and um, install one and see how it works. This particular bit collar set came in sizes from 1 8 to 1 half inch. I'm using the quarter inch bit collar for this lifting rod. The bit collar tightens with the provided Allen key. So the stop collar is in place now. After playing around with it a bit, what I decided to do was put the retaining clip back in and use the stop collar as a means to keep that retaining clip in place so that it won't pop out. I found that to be easier than fiddling with the adjustment of the stop collar so it had the, the correct tension on this uh, lifting rod. So now it seems to be working just great. Let's go ahead and install the router back into the table and make sure everything's working fine. I reinstalled the three screws that hold the router to the router table. Now let's check the lifting mechanism to see how well it works after the modification. Here's a view from below the table. You can see the bit collar on the lifting rod and everything is working smoothly as advertised. 
This easy fix has got us back up and running. I highly recommend making this modification. It's an inexpensive and robust solution that only took a few minutes to install. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like and please remember to subscribe. Thanks for stopping by.